Hi guys, I hope you're ready for your upper body workout. Before we start the workout, just grab a little bit of equipment. The first one you need is a black roll hook. Instead of the hook, if you don't have it at home, just keep on searching for something where you can fix your resistance band, which is holding you in a safe position. You need a black roll multi-band. Instead of the multi-band, you can also use a lighter resistance band. I recommend you to work with the orange super band from Black Row. And you also need a light resistance band, a small one, a loop band. Don't forget your Black Row. Okay, get ready for your warm up. We're gonna start with sumo squats. Bring your feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Try to extend your legs. When you rise up, lift your chest and bring your shoulder blades together in the movement. Try to bring your hands down on your mat. And enjoy your first movement prep. Get up, feet a little bit wider than hip width apart. Go into a deep squat. Press your hands down in the ground. And from the deep squat, you're activating your torso. Alternating right and left arm to the sky. Follow your movements. Bring some lengthening in your arm line. Feel the activation in your torso. Get up again and roll your shoulders to the rear. Last warm-up exercise. It's a palm twist. Slightly bend your knees and twist with your palms. Bring your bicep up and down and follow your movements. Feel the activation in your upper body and in your neck. Hope you're feeling warm right now. Grab your multi-band and let's go to your first round. Prepare it in a safe position and then get ready for some bent over rows in combination with front raises. In the bent over row, you bring your elbows towards your ribs. And in the front raise, you straighten your elbow and bring it a little bit higher then shoulder level. Brace your abs, lift your chest and bring a little bit more weight on your standing leg. Five seconds to go. Active break coming in. Just go for pulses. Pulses in the bent over row. Just try to feel the movements. Imagine there's a lot of tension in your mid-back. Try to stay in this tension zone and relax. Switch your standing position and come into your first post load. Bent over row and front raises in combination. You're activating your mid-back and in the front race you have more tension in your torso, especially in your core. Hands in one line with your arms. It's also important. Okay, first round done. Grab your black roll, get up and get prepared for your next exercise. We will work on our abs. Okay, sit down and find a safe position. Step in your multi-band. Bring some tension in the band. Press your hands down on the ground, fix your torso and go for leg lowering, leg lifts. Press your heels and your toes down. Bring your knees above your hip level. Advanced option, leg lowering, leg lifts. Flex your ankle in the movement. Bring some tension in your thighs and in your abs. 
all areas of your back have contact to the ground? What's your range of motion? Try to find it out and step up. Get ready for your active break. Take your black roll and come into your first high plank. It's a static movement. Roll your shoulder blades towards your spine. Activate your abs, your thighs. Push your hips down and stay strong. 15 seconds to go. Slightly bend your elbows. If it's too intense, just do the movement without the black roll down on your mat. Okay, go down on your knees and get ready for your post load. Sit down again. Just choose the intensity which is good for you. Multiband under tension. Extend your legs and rise. Press your fingers on the mat. Press your tricep in your mat. This is activating your core a little bit more. Five seconds to go. Don't rush. And get up. Great. Round two. Done. Okay, get yourself ready. We're going to work on our chest. Just choose the intensity in your multiband, which you can handle best today. Roll your shoulders to the rear and start with your chest presses. Bring your hands in one line with your arms. Bring some tension in your arm line and activate your bicep when you come to the front. Target zone is the mid of your chest. Okay, keep on working. Two seconds to go. And go for pulses. Maybe you can straighten your arms now a little bit more. Activate your biceps in the movement. And feel inside your body. Where's your working zone today? Feel the tension. Stay for four more seconds. And... Come into your post load. Bring a little bit more weight on your standing leg. Hips, shoulders square. And go again. Chest press. It's a great exercise to work on the stability of your shoulders and your upper body. 14 seconds to go. Don't rush. Two counts to the front, two counts to the rear. Maybe you can open your arms a little bit wider for the last three seconds. And slowly release. Great. Okay. Now we're going to work on our back. Next exercise is a seated row. Open your elbows wide in the seated row. Our target zone is under our shoulder level. Okay, open your elbows a little bit wider and maybe you come into this incline position with your upper body so you can activate your abs a little bit more. Squeeze your abs, shoulder blades together and try to focus not to rush. Sit down, upright position, seated pulsing rows. Okay, where's your working zone? Just try to feel inside your body again. Feel your mid back. Release your neck in the movement. And five seconds. Three, two, one. And incline position again. Try to feel the contact of your calves and your hamstrings to the ground. 
squeeze your butt, bring your elbows to the outside, lift your chest, stay focused, engage your core, 14 seconds. Maybe you can open your elbows a little bit wider. And three, two, one, done, great. Okay, now for the next exercise, you need your loop band. I recommend you to choose the orange or the red one. Step in and fix it above your knees. Get ready for some lateral line activation. Get ready, side plank position, elbows under your shoulder. Shift your body weight from your ankle over your knee to your hips and shoulders. And then go for leg circles. Flex your ankle of your circling leg. And maybe you can maximize the gap from the mat to your hips to activate your lateral line and your obliques a little bit more. Stay here, side plank holds, push your hips up, hips, shoulders square, advanced option, drop your upper leg, lift it, tension from the ground to your fingertips, don't forget to breathe, 10 seconds, push your hips a little bit more to the front and if it's too intense, drop the lower leg. Okay, turn over. Same procedure, other side. Elbows under your shoulders. Shift your body weight again from your ankle to your shoulder. Leg circling. Flex your ankle again. Lift your chest. Squeeze your abs. Almost finished. Next one. Side plank holds. The distance between your mat and your hips, just maximize it and bring your elbows on the shoulder level. Choose the option and bring your upper leg down if it's too intense. Hold the position. 10 seconds to go. Push your hips up higher. Only three more, two, one, and release. Step out and get ready for your next one. One more round to go. This is your final one. It's a combination of stability and mobility. You go in lunges with a trunk rotation. Bring your left leg to the front. Place your knee above your ankle. Sit down in the movement. Press your ankles and your toes down in the ground. And then rotate from your torso. Your lower body stabilizes your movements and your upper body does the main work in the rotation. Bring your arms tucked in front of your chest. Next one, arm circles. Feet a little bit wider than hip width apart, slightly bend your knees and circulate with your arms. Try to work in both directions. Shoulder blades together, chest is lifted. Eight seconds. And just recover. Switch your standing leg. Drop the back leg down. And try to go in a deep lunge position. Lunches with trunk rotation. Okay. Feel the twist in your torso. Feel every structure, every muscle fiber you're working on. Just try to focus. Five seconds. And release. Grab your black roll and get ready for your cool down. Okay, we're gonna start on shoulder position and we will twist our palms. 
Now we're working on the recovery of our bicep, triceps and shoulders. With this exercise, you're going to help your rotatories and your arm line to regenerate faster. Don't rush. Switch side, roll your shoulders again towards your spine and then go again for foam rolling twists. Target zone from your shoulder. Stop shortly under your elbow level. Don't forget to twist your palms in the movement. And don't forget to look over your shoulder. Okay, second exercise. Just place your roll between your shoulder blades, lay down. We're going to work on our chest and our, on our upper back. Roll out. And try to look into the direction of the hand you're bringing towards your body. Try to bring the back of your hands down to the ground. Follow your movements. Everything's fine. And just release. Fix your black roll now in your lumbar spine. And feel the activation of your front line. Then bring your knees above your hip level. When you exhale, you bring your Knees down, when you inhale, you bring them back to your set position. Exhale, go down and inhale, little circle back to the setup. Try to feel the fixation of your shoulders down to the ground. This helps you to support your back and your spine. Twist side to side. Well done. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoyed your workout. I hope it was a good one for you. See you soon and have a great day. Bye bye.